Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker Randomized Part 7. And uh, I know in the last episode I said I didn't really feel like doing the, uh, the Tower of the Gods, but, well, after looking at the tracker for a little bit, I learned that, well, I don't have much of another option, so this is pretty much the only room, or only area where I could get treasure, so I'm gonna kinda have to do this. Ah, oh, dang it, a little late on the draw there. I wasn't really late on the draw, I was just too far away. But, yeah. I don't really like it, because this is not really my favorite dungeon, but... Oh well. Plus, we can't even finish it, which is another downer side. Oh, grappling hook! Well, okay, man, I'm such an idiot, man. I was like, oh, I'm not getting this. But I definitely don't feel like going to this room. There's nothing here that I could get. But look, look, I get a freaking grappling hook. Oh my god. Alright, okay, so this is super good. I'm just a moron for not trying to get it before. My god. This, okay. <laughs> that opens up so much, actually. Is this Skull's room chest, I guess? I'm, that's the only thing I could think. Yeah, okay, shoot, I... They used to be called Eye Switch Room, so that's why I was confused. But after reading this one, shoot, I above Skull's room chest... I don't know why they changed the name. Before it used to be I Switch Room and then Behind I Switch. That was a lot easier. But nah, this time they decided to make this long convoluted name. But dude, come on, for real? Oh wait, also did I remember to uh yeah I did. But look at look how much opened up from just from just from just this. This gave me access to so much. But yeah, okay, you know what? Now I'm not going to do it. All right, my plan was to just do as much of the is the of the earth or not earth temple, the tower of the gods as I as I can. But okay, 2 minutes in and immediately the plan changes. All right, let's let's go. Uh where's um where's my boat? There it is. So, I changed my mind. We're getting sunken treasures today. So, yeah, where, where's a uh, um We'll find one. I believe... Don't we have one over here? Like a chart? Yeah. Alright, well I guess we're just too close to it or something. Um... There it is. So it's kind of behind us. So let's turn around. Yeah, there it is. Alright, let's go ahead and grab it. Hopefully I didn't overshoot it right there. I might have. No, I didn't! Perfect. Alright. All right, what are we gonna get? Hopefully, we could get a lot of good stuff now. Oh yeah, I could kill big octos now. Holy cow! Th this opened up so much, actually. Oh hey, how about that? We finally got a car container. Sweet. Also, I could click that out. Um, and boom, we got that. Nice. Piece by one heart. All right. Uh, do I have? What was this chair? Oh, that looks like a uh, Eastern Fairy Island. Yeah, that's Eastern. Well, it looks like I could go all the way to Gale Island. Actually, I could go to these other islands right here, just like right there. So, yeah, alright. Also, yeah, in the last video, I was saying that I would like to figure out where Treasure Chart 41 is, and that's the boating course. I want to see if that's a good treasure, because... I almost freaking died there. I had to do this crazy enemy hell combat trial thing. And, uh, of course I, I couldn't do it. I mean, I could barely do it. I almost died, though. But, yeah, we got a treasure chart. So, I'm thinking, I hope we got something good. Because I want it to be worth it. And, uh, where's... Oh, there it is. See, so, yeah, I'll just go here. And... Let's get this. When I was younger... I used to be scared to death of the uh, of the cyclone that Cyclos has, but come to think of it, it's really not all that bad. Um, I don't even think it does any damage to you. Oh man, 50 rupees. Uh, Alright, well, check that box. Should probably spend some rupees. Right, there we go, close window. But yeah, it just sends you somewhere else. And I used to believe it moved with you. So like, when I uh, when I was a kid, I would try to avoid it like at all costs. Because I used to think it would like follow you. But I... 
Oh my god, I should watch where I'm going. Anyway, I used to believe it followed you in that, like, there was, like, no real easy way to avoid it, but like, after looking at it, it looks like it just kind of stays in a fixed point. I don't know, it might move a little bit, but I don't really know if it follows you, like, as hard as I believe. Yeah, I kind of forgot that there were explosive barrels on this side. That's really bad because, um... Uh, our, we go so much faster with the swift sail that we get knocked out of the boat. The boat keeps going for a really long distance. So, yeah, that's that's very, very bad. Yeah, stay, stay away from these barrels. Oh my god, I almost got hit again. Oh, come on. Alright, I guess we gotta sail around here. Alright, let's keep going. It's kind of in the middle-ish here, right? Like right around here? No, I'm not in the right spot, am I? Alright, well I remember that treasure chart 4 was 4i reef, so let's, let's go here. Oh, well maybe if I just turn it the other way. Yeah, like, if I just go a little bit more this way, this should maybe get the treasure. Wait, whoops, I accidentally pressed A. I bumped it with my thumb. All right, there we go, got it. Dang, this is taking a while. Okay, there we go. I'm still drinking that coffee from episode five, or part five. And we got the Dragon Roost Big Key. That'll help us eventually, but not now, but it'll help us. But I'm glad we got it. Right, so let's get that heck out of here. And let's check here, uh, say I could keep going south. So, yeah, let's do that. And, boom, let's go this way. So, yeah, this is neat. We can kind of just re-explore a lot of islands and just get some treasure charts. So, that'll be fun. Alright. There's eastern, or sorry, western fairy island. Hopefully that one has another good treasure. But, uh, you know, I'm kind of hoping to get not only the grappling hook, but I also, like, I got the grappling hook now. But now that I got the grappling hook, I kind of want to get the, uh, the, the Deku Leaf. That'll really help us. That'll open up, like, the whole overworld if I get that. Um, but I'm not getting my hopes too up, because if I get him too high up... Oops, I, uh, overshot that by a lot. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, if I get a 2 of, then I'm going to just be disappointed constantly by not getting it. But, uh, I would certainly like to get it. Like, it's super helpful. But, you know, even if I don't get it this video, I should be happy that I got the grappling hook. That, that really does help, like, a ton. Triforce Shard! Wow, okay, we're getting so many of these. It was the bottom right corner. Okay, bottom right. We got Triforce Shard from Eastern Fairy Island. There we go. So, yeah, that's really good. At this point, we're probably going to get all of the, uh, all of the, uh, Triforce Shards before we even get the, uh, Pearls. So, we're going to have access to Hyrule before the Tower of the Gods is there, which is going to look pretty funny. But yeah, actually, now I think about it, there's two sunken chests over in, uh, Rockspire Island. There's going to be one from the, you know, Treasure Chart, the one that's, you know, the normal one. But then there's also one from a gunboat, and um, yeah, we sink the gunboat, we'll be able to... Where's the treasure? Well, oh, there it is. It's like, shoot, I got nervous it was not there. But we sink the gunboat, it'll drop a treasure, and we'll just be able to haul it up with the grappling hook. So yeah, alright, let's pull this up. One of the gunboats will have a treasure, like a random treasure, and the other one will have 100 rupees. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to lose out on those 100 rupees, unless I get the treasure first. But it's kind of, who knows, it's a 50-50 chance that I'm going to get the, uh, I'm going to get the, uh, treasure or the rupees. I think the treasure one is the farther one. Uh, yeah, we'll try to hit the farther one. Alright, gunboat. One, two, three. And, uh, I'd go for the other one, but I'm gonna wait till I haul this treasure, because if 
If this one isn't the rupees, then I want to save the rupees for later. Because they'll still be there, I'm pretty sure, and as long as I don't blow up the gunboat. But yeah. Or who knows, this might get randomized into 100 rupees, and I just won't know. But, anywho. And a piece of heart. Okay, good. This is actually, funnily enough, what it's supposed to be. Um from the base game from vanilla. So yeah, I'm glad I got that one. I'm glad I remembered that it was that uh, gunboat and not the other one. Because yeah, the other one will have uh, just 100 rupees and right now I can't really collect that. So yeah, we get to save some rupees for later, so perfect. Also that's uh, a little bit not where I want to go. I want to go over here to 3i reef. And uh, let's just look here. Yeah, so we just go to 3i Reef, then we go south to Needle Rock Island. But it'll be a golden gunboat, so... Oh, what the hell? Normally the change is kind of gradual from stormy weather to calm weather, but... Alright, I guess it's just gonna instantly change. That was really jarring. But anywho... Yeah, so there's a golden gunboat there, as well as a sunken treasure, so kind of the same uh, deal here, except the... Uh, the gunboat treasure is in a golden gunboat, as opposed to just a normal gunboat, which is cooler. And also it makes it easier to tell which one's which. But yeah, let's go in here, and right about here, it's kind of a bit to the left, so let's go move this to the left. And there we go! Alright. Da -da 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 -da. And it was an orange rupee. That's a bit of a downer. We lose a hundred rupees. Uh, but yeah, this is going to happen as we get more and more treasures. Uh, I guess along with the Deku Leaf, which I want more than this other item, by the way. But I would also like to have the wallet upgrade. That would be fairly helpful. That way I can actually collect rupees. And actually we'll open up some other treasures too, like... Uh, all the Triforce charts, because uh, you need, you know, 398 rupees for those, for each of them. And also getting, like, uh, you know, Tingle's letter, and also uh, the, you know, the Rock Spire Island treasures. But, uh, anywho, yeah, let's go ahead and just go here. Let's take out the Golden Gunboat. That's not bombs. Oops. Oh, well, let's just cruise on over. Or, yeah, just, there we go. And uh, yeah, the Golden Gunboat acts exactly the same, it just has a bit of a different design. It's got like these wings on the head and a mohawk the design as, as a crest. But yeah, the only real difference is that when you sink it, it has a cutscene as opposed to just all of the other ones that are just, you know, normal. Yeah, let's go here and yeah. Also, the orbs mark it like the middle of the ring. But let me just show you how wide the radius is for this. If I go all the way to the other side, you see that? That's like so far from the orb, but it still manages to barely uh, get the treasure. So I believe that the radius for getting the treasure is actually twice as large as the light ring's visual effect. Anyway, fun. <laughs> that's funny. So we got a. We used a treasure chart to find another treasure chart. This one takes us to Shark Island. I didn't even know that they would work like that, to be honest. I thought that, um, I thought that the randomizer made it so that you can't get treasure charts from sunken treasures, but I guess I'm wrong. Anyway, let's go ahead and get that. Try to get my bombs back. Or, or not. Okay, well, that was a waste then. Thanks a lot, gunboats. But, anyway, for here, we could go... Uh, get the sunken treasure at Needle Rock. So let's go ahead and get. Let's just check that box and uh, let's go ahead and sail to the actual island. And where? Are you? Yeah, there it is. Too bad I can't actually get any items, you know, on the island. There's two items that we can get, minimum anyway. There's one that's in that burning ring of fire. But there's also one in the frozen hole, or at least one, because there might be multiple depending on where it leads to us, for us. But uh, at least one treasure in there. 
Yeah, let's open this up. And Earth Temple small key. Okay. Earth Temple small key check. And treasure check. Alright, and then from here... From here we could go to the Big Octo. So let's go ahead and do that. So there's Diamond Step Island. I'm going to go ahead and equip the Boomerang. Because I just think the Boomerang is easier to use. And, uh... Yeah, alright. Well, I also gonna do some free cam shenanigans. So, yeah, I want you guys to really see how the big octo looks like. Not only from spawning, but, uh, from how it looks like when we... Well, actually, where is the big octo first? Let me, like, let's reset camera. Um... So yeah, I want to see, uh, just show you guys how it looks like when you when it spawns, as well as when it. Uh, oh my God, I almost sailed past it. As well as when it, uh, do, like when it disappears. So yeah, we're gonna start from this angle way down here, and there it is. All its eyes are red, and yeah, it just kind of looks like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and take this thing out. I suppose I could also use bombs as well. Boomerang is not bad. I know that, yeah, they're like, I, I think I mentioned before that some people swear by using bombs instead of uh, the boomerang. Because they think that the boomerang is too slow, but rest assured, the boomerang is definitely fast enough to take out even the 12 eyed octos. But yeah, um, the bombs aren't even like too hard to use. They're kind of They're kind of easy to aim with. But anyway, uh, before I do that, let's move the camera. Um, let's move it a bit down too. All right. Come on, target the eye. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to do it manually. Or never mind. I thought this guy had a fewer, a f I like you know fewer eyes. But no, he has two eyes. Alright. I'm gonna target the eye. There we go. That should be the last hit. So, yeah. Come on. God damn it. There we go. So, yeah, you can see the, uh, the big oc goes there. And then it just kind of disappears. So yeah, it just kind of lingers around for a bit. Yeah. Sorry about not being that good at uh, controlling the, the camera. But at least you guys got to see how it looks like when it spawns. And then how it looks like when it when we kill it. You know, and it despawns. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this here treasure. And uh, yeah, let's see what we get. And another treasure chart, man. I don't, I'm, I don't want to get more treasure charts, man. I mean, I'd like to get more, but I just feel like this is a bit, you know, a bit much. Anyway, all right. Well, where to next? I guess. Uh, Big Octo killed it. I guess we could go to Horseshoe Island. We're right next to it. So let's turn this way, down south, and uh, head to Horseshoe Island. <sighs> yeah, the thing is, I like getting the sunken treasures, but like right now, it just seems like there's so many of them. That's just gonna take forever to get through them all. But yeah, let's go ahead and, uh. You know what? I don't have to kill this guy, but. I wanna, because he's annoying. There we go. Got him. And yeah, the treasure's probably. Yeah, it's on the other side, I figured. Alright. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, be gone, you. Because this guy's gonna definitely try to bother us while I get the treasure. Uh, and Shucks, I lost track of where it was. Thank goodness that it's, uh, we managed to find it on the charts pretty fast. Alright, right about here. And we'll make it go to the left to ensure that we get the, uh, treasure. And wow, that was really fast. I barely dropped anchor, or dropped the grappling hook, but yet we still managed to get it. Pretty sweet. 
And <gasps> the rupee wallet. Nice. That's super good. Oh man. All right. Well, there we go. We got that. Hopefully, uh, well, hopefully we'll be able to get some rupees now. I mean, we definitely can. I don't know why I say hopefully like that. So this is helpful. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. Although <laughs> it probably didn't sound very convincing, right? When I was like, "Oh man." I don't know, man. I'm not really good at, uh, like, expressing excitement. It makes people, like, weirded out when I do it. So maybe, I don't know, I'll just be, like, I, I don't know, a little too tired to express real excitement. But this is actually seriously really good, though. Just because I'm not good at, uh, sounding like it, it is really good. Um, so yeah, from here, let's go ahead and, uh, pause. Okay, there we go, unpause. Let's go to Tingle Island. There we go. Yeah. Let's go to Tingle Island. And there's actually a reward from Tingle Island that I've been kind of saving. Because uh, I didn't want to, you know, waste it. Because, oh yeah, there's a treasure there too. Huh. There's actually quite a few treasures here. But yeah, there's uh, the reward for the Tingle statues. I have like two of them now, so I should get a hundred rupees for that. So yeah, every time we get a Tingle statue, we get 50 rupees after we talk to Ankle. It looks like he'll say, um, yeah, whatchamacallit? Yeah, there, actually, never mind, he changed the description. So at first I used to think he just got a uh, purple rupee, but it says, you got a reward for being so skillful at finding Tingle statues, you get 50 rupees per statue. So there we go. So yeah, uh, we got quite a few of them now. Not enough, uh, quite a few rupees, but not enough to, um, say, uh, not enough to buy a Triforce Char, but still a good enough amount of rupees. And this one's probably going to be Tingle's Letter, right? No, it's not Tingle's Letter, because we would have had to use our money. But yeah, this is the Rockspar Island guy. And a Treasure Chart. Man, all we get are Treasure Charts now, man. It's as if I can't get treasure normally. I have to get it from the treasure chart. Oh, is it this one? All right, that's uh, five uh, five star isles. So let's go ahead and click that. Oh, and I guess since we're already here, let's go ahead and uh, get the treasure. All right, where is it? Okay, it's just like a little bit in this direction. And a little bit more. Tiny bit more. Okay, that's good. Now let's just sail over, let's cruise, and how much, how close are we? Ooh, really close. Oh my god, the lag from the shark spawning. Alright, before I uh, get this treasure, let me take out this shark here. Uh, and there we go. There. So yeah, I think it's just one shark, but yeah, there is still a shark that spawns at Tingle Island. There's also a big Octo, so yeah, I might as well get that too. And a piece of heart, there we go, I'm glad it wasn't another treasure chart, that would have just been disappointing. And I'm surprised I didn't click on this one. Huh. Well anyway, uh... Hmm, that's weird. I could have sworn I remembered to click that I got Tingle's chart. Oh well, or Tingle, not Tingle's chart, but the sunken treasure for Tingle's Island. But, um, yeah, let's fight the other big Octo, there it is. And yeah, we got a really, uh, sudden storm there. But yeah, you can actually target the eyes before it even comes out of the water, which is, uh, which is a nice thing about the boomerang. You can't do that with bombs, because bombs explode on impact with the water. The boomerang just doesn't care. But yeah, I'm not gonna free cam this guy because, well, I, already, I think I did a good enough job with the last Big Octo, so no more free cam on Big Octos. But yeah, this is a 12 eye Octo, and I'm using the Boomerang kind of, one, because I don't really have too many bombs right now, but two, because I kind of want to show that the Boomerang is indeed uh, good enough to take out even the 12 eye Octos, so like that, and yeah. There's so many eyes, it actually becomes really easy to target them all. So yeah, the boomerang it has like a really good homing feature. But yeah, 
Oh no! Yeah, sometimes it might take a long time to hit the eyes. That doesn't happen too often, though. And even then, it's still, like, relatively quick. Alright, so we just gotta get these last two eyes, and... And there we go! There's one 12 eye octo completely taken out by just using the boomerang. It's kind of weird that it has so many eyes. Like, what's the benefit of that? I mean, I guess they'll be able to see in all directions, but... I don't know, it's just kind of weird looking. Kind of makes him just look really gross. I don't know. They're supposed to be monsters. But... I, I don't know. Anyway, let's take that out. It'd be funny if, like, when you try to pull up the treasure, you just pull up the dead body of the Octo. But another freaking treasure chart, man. Come on. All right, treasure chart 30. All right, let's open it up. Where does it... Uh, where does it show? Starbell Archipelago. All right. There we go. Uh, actually, where to from here? Because uh, I have a lot of choices. I could... I could go here, uh, but I, I can't really afford anything. Let's go south to um, to Cyclops Reef. But actually, before I do that, seeing as I'm already kind of here, I'm gonna go to Rock Spire Island again, and uh, you know, from there I'm gonna get the 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 rupees that I missed. Remember that one gunboat that I didn't want to destroy because I. Um, I wanted to save it for when we got the wallet, which is actually kind of funny that that was this video. And within the video where I said, I wish I had the wallet, I got the wallet. So yeah, that's pretty big. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get that gunboat. It just, it's just kind of sitting there all alone now. Poor guy. But oh well, we'll have to just take him out. Put him out of his misery. He's lonely after we killed his friend. All right, one, two, and three. You're done for. All right. And let's go ahead and haul up some treasure. Wow, that one didn't take too long at all. And yeah, let's go ahead and uh, see what we can get. And it's an orange rupee, but this time... Oh, wait, that's right. I knew it was going to be an orange rupee. I was gonna be like, oh wow, we got an orange rupee, but this time it's actually good. But I was like, wait a minute, I said it was gonna be an orange rupee. I totally forgot that this wasn't the one that uh, you need the, um, the the treasure chart for, or not the treasure chart, you get an item for. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and warp to Great Fish because I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other two gunboats at Needle Rock Isle, and um, well, I believe the. Uh, that Great Fish Isle is the closest one to it in terms of warp points. So yeah, let's go and just sail on over. And let's go ahead and equip the bombs already. And yeah. Alright. I will guess, you know, it just kind of popped in my head, so I kinda, I'm kind of just going to say it. But uh, when I first started doing this playthrough again, uh, I was thinking maybe of using like some gecko codes and stuff to make it like widescreen and um, also use like this custom texture pack and things like that you know was, I, I have an HD texture pack for Wind Waker it's actually pretty good but when I actually turn them on uh, the widescreen while it looks good for normal gameplay there are some effects that do kind of get broken by them nothing that will like crash the game or anything they just look kind of weird because of it like, for instance, when you play the Song of Passing, and it does that little, like, uh, circle transition. The circle transition is meant for a 4x3 screen. So, uh, when you do it with the widescreen, you actually still see, like, the edges. Which just kind of makes a makes for a very weird-looking effect. Also, like, the pause screen doesn't, like, cover the whole screen anymore. So you can kind of still see, like, past the pause screen, which is just kind of weird-looking. And there's a couple of other effects, nothing too crazy, just some like aesthetic things that kind of get a little like broken, or rather the illusion breaks. So, yeah, I decided not to use the widescreen for that. And as for the texture pack, well, I decided that uh, not to use that because 
as I was playing with this, I realized that uh, some of the items in the randomizer don't necessarily work with the texture pack because obviously they don't have textures. Wait, did the orb break already? Huh. Well, anyway, um, but yeah, like, uh, for instance, the swift sail doesn't have a texture, so it's just gonna look kind of off, you know? Yeah, some other things like the key bag. Captain Falcon probably won't look too bad because he already looks pretty good. But then again, he might look kind of a bit off compared to the, uh, the high res textures. But, you know, I don't know, maybe that's not so bad. Oh, I guess that wasn't the sunken treasure we were supposed to get. Yeah, this one's the one with the orb in it, so this is the one from the actual gunboat. So I just got the wrong treasure. Not that it was the wrong treasure per se, because I still got rupees from it. But, uh, yeah, so that was just some stuff that I was considering. There's also some, like, other stuff that might have been more convenient, like, that I didn't really consider too much, because I kind of eventually thought that they were so convenient that it kind of made it feel like cheating. Like, there was a gecko code for, um, being able to have two sets of items on. So, like, you'd be able to swap between them with D-pad down. So I could have, like, my sailing sets and then my, uh, land set, if that makes sense, right? So, like, my sailing set would obviously be, like, um, my, uh, sail, wind waker, and grappling hook, you know, in the configuration that I have them right now, or, uh, and then, you know, like, when I go into land, I could just, like, press D-pad down and swap to, like, boomerang bombs and grappling hook you know so that way I could have two sets but I thought that nah, one's gonna be a little bit too much of cheating in my opinion uh, and yeah there's some other ones too like being able to like remove the like the fog and stuff and I thought that's kind of like breaking a little bit too much of the game so I decided you know what default settings for pretty much everything I'm only gonna really use what the randomizer gives me so, yeah, unfortunately, I can't do more than one chart. So, yeah, you know, like, the randomizer does a good job with convenience already, so I don't need to use more convenience features. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, I just kind of wanted to throw that out there. But, you know, I probably will play one more, like, weird version of Wind Waker in the future. I'm probably going to play the Chaos Edition at some point. Probably not for a while, though, because I do kind of want to break from Wind Waker after this. But, um, because I don't want to have just three Wind Waker playthroughs so close to each other on my channel, I would just kind of look weird. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing it, but I feel like that would just be weird for YouTube. But yeah, probably when I do the Chaos Edition, I'll probably do that. I'll probably use, like, the widescreen, uh, and I'll also use, like, the texture pack and stuff like that. Just because. But yeah. Alright, well, that'll do it for this video, so thank you guys very much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.